Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. It's math class, and today we are going to continue the lesson we have started two days ago about analyze paragraphs. Okay, so let's go or let's start with our daily routine. And I need someone to read the day and date, please. Uh, before reading the day and date, I want you to get your math book because we are going to use it today. So, who's going to help me today to read the day and date? I need your help. Me, I will help you. So, can you read the day and date? Sure. The day is Tuesday and the date is April 28, 2020. Well done. So everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to draw conclusions and answer questions based on paragraphs. Here we go, mental math time. Please take your time to avoid any mistake. Think carefully and slowly. What you are going to do is to subtract 100 plus. So let's do the first one. 280. 2 minus 1, sorry, 100. So everyone remember, more on the top, no, no need, need to stop. stop. Well done. So 2 minus 0, 2, 8 minus 0, 8, and 2 minus 1, 1. 1. So the answer is 182. 2. So, what do you notice, everyone? You can see that only the first number changed. Well done. So, everyone, if you are going to subtract 100 from each number, only the number in the hundreds place, place will be changed. changed. Okay, so here it will be 730. Four, because we subtract 100 from the hundreds place and here it will be 372 3 so it's 3 because we are going to change only the number which is in the hundred or hundreds Kay. place Okay, everyone, because we're going to subtract 100 less, as you can see over here. So, here's a video about how to analyze paragraphs. So, watch the video, and then when you come back, we are going to solve some pages from the math book. So, here, the problem of the day. We're going to read the question and then analyze the paragraph. Here, there are the steps that we are going to follow, understand, plan, and solve. So, you need to read the question, to understand the question, and then to plan and finally solve it. So, before reading the question, uh, tell me, what does the paragraph show? Birthday. Well done. So everyone, four more people answered the survey. Look at the survey. This is the survey. Okay. And four more people answered the survey. They all have birthdays in the same month. Now that month has five people. What month are there? Are yeah. there birthdays in? So, look at the paragraph and try to analyze the data to answer this question. Four more people surveyed. So, four plus one equals five. So, we'll choose February. So, February is the answer. So, everyone, because four more people answered the survey, they all have birthdays in the same month okay so now that month has five people so it's February because there is only one here and then we're gonna add four and the total will be five 
So task time everyone, on the following slides you will see two different tasks, so you can choose to complete task 1 or task 2. So everyone, open your math book page or go to page 558. So here is a bar graph and we need to answer these questions. So let's read the questions together or you know what? Let's look at the bar graph first. So as you can see, here is a bar graph and here we have two questions. We need to answer them. How can we answer them? By analyzing the bar graph. So my first question is, what does the bar graph show? Favorite activity. Favorite activity. What are the activities? Video games, playing outside, reading, board games. So how many people voted for video games? Three. One, two, three. And how many people voted for playing outside? Four. Four. And how many people voted for reading? Four. And finally, board games? Two. Two. Well done. So what is the total, everyone? Let's add these numbers together. Let's say, um, what can we add first? Okay, 3 plus 2 equals 5. five. And 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8. So 5 plus 8. Who can help me? 13. Well, then the answer is 13. So now how many more people like reading or board games than playing video games? So let's go and read these questions. How many more people like reading or board games than playing video games? What you are going to do is to subtract. Because as you can see, the word than means that you are going to subtract. So, how many people voted for reading? or board games than playing video games. So what we're going to do is to add reading and board games together. So how many people voted for reading? Four. Four. Plus? Two. For board games? Two. So what is the answer? Six. Well done. Okay. And then Let's continue reading. So, then playing video games. So, how many people voted for video games? Six. Six. Oh, sorry. No. Three. Where's video game? One, two, three. So, six minus three. Three equal three. So, what did we do first? We added reading. And, and board games. games and then we subtract the total right we subtract the total how did we subtract the total we subtract it with the amount we subtract it from with the, with the amount of what of boxes in board and video games well done now let's read Question number 13, let's say, Sana? no, let's say Afra. Afra, Afra also, also chooses an activity. Then three activities are the favorite of the same number of people. Which activity did she choose? So everyone, Afra chooses an activity. Okay, she chooses one activity. Then three activities now have the same number. So... If I color one box here, so I'm going to have three activities that are or that have the same number. So which activity did Afra 
choose video game video game so this is the answer okay finally let's read question number 14 10 more people were surveyed for the graph above three more people like board games three more people like video games the rest like playing outside how many people like each activity so task two i'm gonna leave it for you i want you to try to do it if you can this will be great and finally there is a game here don't miss the game Thank you everyone, please upload your answers in your portfolio in Class Dojo and have a great day.